do this. We are going to translate an object in GeoGebra. So first you have to get to GeoGebra Classic because as far as I know, that's the only way to get a slider. Then first thing you do is create yourself an object. So using the polygon tool, any object you want, um, after you've created your object, you want to create a uh, vector. So just use the vector tool uh, right there and create a vector anywhere you'd like, as big as you like. After you've done that, you want to put in a slider. So it goes from 0 to 1. And then after you've done that, oh, I did. That's all right. You need to, so our last letter we've used is G here. So we are going to go H, and we are going to translate. So down here it says translate object and vector. So the object you're translating is poly1. There's poly1, that's the shape right here. And we're going to translate it along vector V times F. So we do vector v star f, and we get a problem. Only one v times f, because that's not v, that's u. All right, so make that a u times f. There you go. So what it did was take each of these points and um, translated them times vector u times f and made the new polygon there. And what's cool with this polygon is if you move your slider, the polygon moves back and forth. But we're not done there. This is really cool. So take the segment, go from point to point, and make your segments. Now, when you pull your sliders, the lines disappear. <clears throat> but you go, hey, Mr. Murphy, B and D, I can't tell this line apart. So I'm just going to grab this shape, and I'll move it wherever you like. And notice how the mirror shape moved with it. They are connected. There you go. OK? So that is how you take a, an object and animate the translation of that object using GeoGebra.